macaroni and cheese is a perennial favorite and the store-bought kind is the easiest way to go. But I'm gonna show you a homemade macaroni and cheese that your family is gonna love. It starts with the classic bechamel sauce with a quarter of a cup of butter that's melted here in this pan. And to that, we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of all-purpose flour. Now, when that flour goes in, you have to stir it around and give the flour a chance to cook into the butter. And that's gonna take a few moments, just like that. Then the next step is we're going to add three cups of milk. You can use 2% or whole milk, 1%, whatever you like in your family. Then this has to cook for about eight to 10 minutes. So the white sauce, that's the base of our macaroni and cheese has been simmering and it has thickened beautifully. You can see it's just got a thick texture and that's exactly how you want it. Now we're gonna add about two and a half to three cups of grated sharp cheddar cheese. And you wanna use the sharp cheddar because that is just gonna add great flavor to your sauce. So that all goes in, just like that. And even turn the heat right down and there'll be enough heat um, in the sauce itself to melt the cheese. Just a couple steps to go to finish off our delicious homemade macaroni and cheese. The cheese has melted into the sauce and we're going to add a teaspoon and a half of Worcester sauce. That gives it great flavor. So does the Dijon. Don't worry about the Dijon being spicy. It's such a small amount, a teaspoon. It just gets incorporated into the sauce. You won't even know it's there. It just adds flavor. About a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of salt, a couple of turns of black pepper, and in that goes. Stir that all in. Now what we have here is one pound, the one box or the one bag size of uh, macaroni, which has been cooked to the manufacturer's instructions, and the sauce goes right over. Oh, look at how creamy and delicious that is. I mean, you can't really compare it to store-bought macaroni and cheese. This, you, your family won't believe the flavor of this. All right, so that goes there. We're gonna incorporate it all in. And it just is so creamy and rich. And the beauty of it is that it goes into an oven-proof dish. It is a some amount of work, but it can be made in advance and it can be put into an oven proof dish and stored away in the fridge with foil on top. And then you just reheat it in the oven at 350 until it's heated through really just about uh, maybe 30 minutes, depending on your oven. I have to give this a try. Your family is gonna absolutely love this. You might have ruined them. It'd be hard to go back to the store-bought stuff after this. I have to take a little taste. Mmm, it's so good. The homemade cheese and those flavorings that you can't quite identify, but they just give it great flavor.